Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogmas Day 30. My name is Ivy and I am so glad that you are here with me today. Um, this is actually Tuesday the 26th. It's the day after Christmas and I have had the laziest day that I could have ever dreamed to have. I have barely left this couch at all today other than to prepare food for myself. I did cook dinner, surprisingly. I don't know what got into me, but no, my family was all very hungry. And so um, I cooked some dinner tonight. Didn't bring y'all along with anything I did today. Cause like I said, for the most part, I sat here on this couch and just enjoyed a day to just sit finally. <laughs> so I haven't even finished cleaning up the stack of presents on the couch because I fully intended to film my what I got for Christmas video today, but I chose not to. <laughs> I did edit um, my three other gift guide videos um, and then my grandkids video went up today. My kids video will go up tomorrow. My adult video will go up on Thursday and then what I got for Christmas won't even go up till Friday. So there's still time, but I will be ready tomorrow to get this off my couch. But the rest of my house is very clean. So it's been nice to just sit around and uh, do nothing. Um, the fun story about the trash still sitting there. I mean, one, we've all just had a very wonderfully lazy day. Um, sadly, my husband's actually under the weather. So his lazy day was not <laughs> ideal for him. He is not a hang around kind of person. He went, he's a go and do kind of person. Um, anyway, on Christmas day, this was a, the Christmas tornado, the typical wrapping paper everywhere. We aren't the stick it in the bag. As soon as you unwrap people on Christmas morning, um, we are a throw it all in the middle of the floor and then we'll clean it up eventually you know, throughout the day kind of thing. Anyhow, I went out to my craft room to wrap a few last minute presents to take to my mom's house. And I wasn't out there like 20 minutes and I came back in and Scotty had cleaned it all up and put it over there. And it literally brought me to tears. It was just so thoughtful. <laughs> like he had already just spoiled me rotten with gifts and then I came in and he had cleaned up and it was just, it may seem silly to some of you. And I don't think that he doesn't do things around the house. He hundred percent does. We normally all clean that up together, but he, I came in and he had it all cleaned up and stacked over there so nicely. And I said, oh, Scotty, thank you so much for doing that. He's like, that's what pure anger will do to you. <laughs> The Chiefs had just lost their football game, but no, um, it, I was just so grateful that he had picked it up, but we have not gotten it out of there because I refused to leave my house today. I refused to leave my pajamas today. I refused to leave this couch today. <laughs> so, um, there's plenty of time to do that. And we all got the rest we needed today and it's good. So anyway, I just wanted to open this vlog up and because this is almost going to be a weekly vlog because all of my Tuesday through Fridays are going to be pre-scheduled, pre-filmed uploads. So, but I will bring you along um, throughout those days and this will go up on Saturday, almost weekly vlog style. We'll get, I'll have to get back into that. That's going to be so weird uploading weekly instead of um, daily. So anyway, it's going to be okay. I, I think I'm definitely going to miss the daily uploads and vlogs and the interaction with you guys every single day. That just means I need to get better responding to y'all's comments more quickly. Um, but it's going to also be nice to go back to weekly vlogs instead of uh, daily vlogs. So, <clears throat> okay, that's it. Because you know what? Actually, it's technically Wednesday. It's after midnight. So I really do need to get to bed. But um, I also wanted to jump on here and chronicle at least a little bit of today that it was a very lazy, wonderful day. And I very much enjoyed just hanging out here in my jammies all day long. So anyway, thanks for tuning in to um, day 30 of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoy this vlog. So let's see what all we can get into for the rest of this week.
y'all. Happy Wednesday. Uh, it's been a very good, another chill, relaxing-ish day. Uh, the kids had doctor's appointments this morning, so we got up and went to town, and they got us in and out super quick, which was amazing. Um, and then as soon as we got home, we came, or we went to the school because Caleb had a basketball game. So we went to that and got home about 3.30, and then I just chilled for a little while, and then went and took a long, hot shower. And then I think it was like 4.30 or 5. No, it was like 5 I came out here because my video had just posted. I was kind of waiting for it to post just so I could make sure everything went through good. And then I came out here to my craft room to work on my friend's Christmas present. I have been delaying and putting it off, but I got it done, um, which you'll see this in my adult um, gift guide video tomorrow because I made them a date night journal and I decided to do a little layering just to make it that much fancier and I actually love how it turned out. So I've got this journal. I'm actually going to write on the inside, like on the first page, maybe. I feel like the back of, yes, the back of the front page is blank. So I'm going to write on there kind of like the instructions, um, but they have these date night cards and so it's like a scratcher thing and so they'll scratch them off and then the instructions are going to be like attach the card and a picture of the date and then write a little bit about your date or something like that you know type of thing so I, I mentioned in that video the gift guide video I was wanting to get them the adventure book for couples but they were sold out and I so I just went rogue and did my own thing but I love how it turned out I think it looks adorable and yeah, I'm just enjoying my time in my craft room. Uh, Scotty got me that space heater. Uh, it's hard, so hard to find that black tower right there. Um, so I had the radiator heater in here and it works amazing. Like it gets hot in here, but it takes a very long time to get hot in here. <laughs> so that one blows hot air, which even though it's still pretty chilly in here, like it's not now, it's good now, but like Earlier I was in here and I had it blowing on me to keep me warmer and um, I didn't have time to finish this before the game so I came back out here and I had just left it on and it was like super warm in here once I got back. So anyway, um, yeah, just sitting here watching a movie on my new tablet so I am just using all my Christmas gifts and just using my break and enjoying my time. I need to clean up this mess because I have wrapping paper here all of this wrapping paper and tissue paper and tags and just mess everywhere the floor is a mess so I really need to clean up in here but now it's getting close to dinner time so what time is it I took my watch off to take my shower mm, 6 15 so yeah I might stay out just a little bit longer and then go in and make some dinner I think I'm gonna do taco salad maybe just tacos We'll see what the family wants. I'm sure they'll say taco salad. They would always rather have taco salad. So, yeah. And I still didn't film my what I got for Christmas video. Uh, but it's not going up till Friday anyway. So, I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> but, yeah. The kids' doctor's appointments being kind of midday messed me up a little bit for time today. And then the basketball game, of course. So, it'll get filmed in time and I'm not too worried about it. Man, I look tired. I kind of am. I stayed up way too late last night. I edited all of my videos for the next three days, but that just means I'm done and I don't have to worry about it. So, okay. Um, yeah, just wanted to pop on and say hello and now goodbye. I'll see y'all later. Thursday. Ignore all the sounds in here. The laundry's going. Riley's brushing her teeth. Um, but I haven't even said hey to y'all. I'm not going to show Riley. She said don't show her. Um, she's also playing with Boone. So if you hear barking or anything, it's going crazy in here. Anyway, I've had a nice lazy day again today. It's been somewhat productive too. I've like started cleaning up some things. The table had become a cluttered mess and whatnot. Cleaned up in here a little bit. Cleaned up some laundry a little bit. 
anyhow, it's just been a good day. I'm, I feel like I am making the most of my Christmas break and I'm so happy about it. So uh, one thing I'm doing now, it's actually super late at night, it's 1048. We went to Caleb's basketball game again tonight. He won again tonight. He almost fouled out. I was rooting for him to foul out because he is just the sweetest, calmest guy. And he had four fouls on him and I'm like, he's gonna foul out. <laughs> he didn't. Um, he didn't make someone bleed, but <laughs> not really. <laughs> Riley's over here. Uh, I guess this kid had busted his head last night and he came down on Caleb, which they called the foul on Caleb, but whatever. Anyway, and it busted his stitch back open or something. Okay, that is neither here nor this. Not even what I got on here to talk to y'all about. I was trying on my Christmas clothes and I can insert me trying on the hoodie. I actually filmed it to send to Katie. All right, excuse my washing machine going, but I have tried this on and I absolutely love it actually. It looks so cute on me, um, but also it's thinner than most hoodies, which I think is gonna make me a little more inclined to wear it because I think that's one thing about hoodies that bothers me is it like gets up around my neck and stuff, but this is thinner, so it's lighter weight and I don't think I'm gonna have that problem with it. So yeah, I love it, it's super cute. But I tried on this dress that she got me too. And oh my goodness, it is so cute. Riley said she's jealous. Um, I'm actually gonna have to have you film the back because it was a kind of a failure trying to film it to show Katie. Uh, but I'll show you the front. It is so cute. I am in love. I want more, more colors or something. So here it is. It literally hits me in every right spot. Like how high this is, like even when my little chub, it like doesn't fully chub over, you know what I'm saying? Like. It just looks so nice. It's not too low, but it's just enough. You know what I mean? It's kind of cute. Um, it's also long, like as long as I would like it to be. The shorts underneath it are actually shorter than I would want them to be. I would kind of want them to be the same length as the skirt because they're already kind of riding up, but I could wear slip shorts underneath those even or something if I really was bothered by it. Um, but it does have pockets. And I think it's a golf thing because this side has these weird little things and I think it's for like golf tees, but it's my theme park dress. I'm so excited about it. Um, and then Riley will show you the back. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so it like hits me in all the right spots because I got some like lines right here and I've definitely got like lines here, but it hits me where my back looks nice and smooth and the back is super high. I just love it so much. Like I cannot get enough of it. It's so cute. I don't even want to take it off. So I had to show y'all, had to brag on it. I absolutely love it. Um, I can link it in the description box. I have no affiliate links or anything like that. I lost my Amazon affiliate program a long time ago. Apparently I did something wrong. They kicked me out of it. I was so sad because I actually made a little bit of money doing that. But, um, Anyway, that is neither here nor there. I can link it just saying I don't have, it's not an affiliate link, so I won't, it won't make any difference to me other than I would love for you to love this dress as much as I do. So yeah, it's super cute. And thanks Katie for getting it for me because I absolutely love it. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Um, I am headed out to go to town. It's like 1.30, exactly 1.30. That was my goal to leave by 1.30. Um, headed out to go get groceries because there were no pickup times till late tonight and we have yet another basketball game tonight. Um, it's multiple days after Christmas, but I'm gonna see if there's any Christmas clearance left. Um, I don't, I'm not like go out the day after Christmas kind of person, but if I can scrounge around and find a few things after everybody else has picked through, then I'm content with that. I don't, I've already spent enough on Christmas. I don't need to like stock up, you know, on, I would love to, don't get me wrong, because the deals are amazing, but Anyway, so I'm just going to see that, get some groceries. I am not going to do a ton because I am joining the Three Rivers Challenge. It's like a pantry challenge. I just realized how loud my heater is. And um, so I did a pantry challenge September, with shelf timber. I think that's what I did, yeah. And it was nice. And there's still a lot that I could go through in my pantry and freezer. So we're going to work on that. Um, through January just to kind of recoup some funds so I'm trying to keep my grocery bill low um, and I also need to go to the bank and the post office so I'm gonna go get some running around done this afternoon I'm also on the hunt for a pair of jeans because all of my jeans are atrocious have holes in them have been patched um, so I'm gonna see if I can find some jeans y'all know if you've been around a minute I've been 
somewhat on the hunt for jeans, but not very intently. And today I might spend five extra minutes looking for a pair at Walmart. I actually wore the jeans that I want to be able to replace. They're no boundaries. They're so comfortable. They're amazing. But um, I, I've been thinking they were time and true. So I've looked for time and true and these are not the time and true brand. They're the no boundaries. So I wore them so I could try and like replicate them the closest I can. So I've got my liquid IV. So I'm trying to stay hydrated here and ready to hit the road and get some stuff done today. Okay, I just got to the post office and I got a letter from Mandy. Here's her PO if you wanna send her a message. Um, one thing I love so much is looking at people's handwriting. I don't know what it is about. I just, I love seeing people's handwriting like on um, channels, like when people are making out lists and stuff like that. I just love seeing their handwriting. So I've seen Mandy's on her channel before, but to like possess it, uh, sorry, that, that turned creepy really quickly. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> the big truck backing in. Uh, such a sweet card. Lovely. I love it. I love the mason jar on the front. It's very Mandy of you, Mandy, um, with the mason jar. I love it. So sweet. You probably sent it forever ago, but I'm just now checking my P.O. box and got it today. So now off to Walmart, the dreaded in-person grocery shop. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Okay. I am done in Walmart gag. I just have become, <laughs> I think a bit of a hermit for Walmart. I hate going in the store. Sorry, Aiden made this ornament and he doesn't even want it anymore. It's <laughs> so broken. Okay, there's literally people beside me right now. Anyway, and it is has been in my way since he made it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Um, anyway, there was so much more stuff on sale left from Christmas than I thought there ever would be, but I only got a couple of things. I got some wrapping paper and I'll show you the rest when I get home. And I was like starting to be like, why do I feel like I'm gonna pass out? Like, why do I just feel terrible? Um, and it's because I have not eaten today and it is like almost four o'clock. Where are my keys? Hmm. Oh. Uh, so I had to get some deli food and I'm fixing to eat the most unhealthy meal of the year right now. Um, chicken strips and tater wedges and cheese bites because of course I went all out if I'm going to eat unhealthy and I got a cherry coke zero. I was actually hoping for a cherry vanilla coke zero but they didn't have that. Um, but yeah I'm ready to go home like this was too much for me after being at home for days and days and days I did not enjoy being in town. So I actually have to come back tomorrow because I have to get stuff for the lock-in but I will survive. I did survive this so I'll show y'all. Oh I got Two impulse buys, definitely spent more than I planned on also, I should say. That's why I do online grocery pickup. But two impulse buys that I'm really excited to show you guys about when I get home. Okay, I am home now. Our little Christmas pup sender. Uh, and I was just gonna show you the wrapping paper I got on clearance. So I got these, very Christmassy. So I actually love that tartan one so much. And then this deer has like a tartan print on. Super cute, rustic -y mainly. I love the um, snowman there. And then this one just has like a bunch of sayings. And then ooh, this one is kind of like shimmery, like foil kind of colors. This reminds me very much of my Pioneer Woman I had this year. I almost got some Pioneer Woman, but it was only two rolls for seven something. So half price would have been closer to $4. And this was four rolls for $5.50, so like $2.25, something like $2.75. Anyway, so I went with these, and then I had to get e.l.f. I've had e.l.f. paper every year for several years, and again, I like the tartan print, super cute. And of course, I also had to get a Disney print, and there were only two, and I thought about getting them both, 
but the other one was pink and I already have a pink one. I, I have blue ones too, but I would use blue a lot more than pink. You know what I mean? So those, that's it. That's all I got for Christmas. No, no, no. That's not all I got for Christmas clearance. One of the impulse buy things <clears throat> that I got was Christmas clearance. So let me rummage it out and then I need to set this out and do a grocery haul. But I'm just going to go ahead and pre-film for next week and my grocery haul will go out Thursday. And I'll talk about the pantry challenge and all of that on Thursday. Um, but we were just out of stuff, so I had to go today. So let me find the items I was talking about. Okay, there were actually three impulse items. So the first one that I remembered was this super cute little hat. We always have like a hat slash headband day. And this year, well, both years, the last two years, I, I guess, that I can remember it, I wore my um, mini ears. And so I thought this will be really cute to have next year. It's just fun. I actually hate the bow on it, but I could put a fabric bow on there. It's literally just like a, a wrapping bow. <laughs> but otherwise, it was really cute. He's $5. So normally I would never spend something like that. But... I'll wear it once a year, you know, working in an elementary school. It's a good bet to buy stuff like that, especially when it's on clearance. And then I grabbed a pair of these socks. Um, I guess I'm in the poo mood today. So um, one of the third grade teachers got me a pair of these a couple of years ago, and I have about worn them to death. I love them so much, especially in the winter. They are so cozy and being half price, I was like, yes, please. I'm grabbing them. I don't know how much they were. And I did ask the girl if they rang up half, half price because her little register thing was broken. Um, so I um, couldn't tell how much. So she was checking all the prices for me. She was really, really sweet. Um, anyway, so I got those half price. Okay, and then the one that I was intending to show you, it is a grocery item. But y'all, I have looked for these for the last, at least last year. I can't remember if we found them two years ago or if I've looked for them for the last two years. But Oh, anticlimactic. The hot cocoa cinnamon rolls. Uh, these are so stinking good. Like we got them a couple of years ago. We had them for Christmas. I think it has to have been like three years ago. I think we got them for Christmas. And in the last couple of years, I've made cinnamon rolls. Um, but I have not been able to find them. And I finally found them. And I look for these all the time, y'all. So hopefully they're as good as I remember. Um, the kids weren't as excited about them as I thought they were going to be. But maybe they were so young they don't even remember how amazing they were. Um, so that's a grocery item I wanted to show you. Because it was pretty much my only impulse buy. Everything else I did pretty good and stuck to my list. Only got the things we needed for sure. Um, since I'm going to do that pantry challenge. So... Okay, I'm going to set my table up, do my grocery haul, and then I think I'm going to take a nap before we go to the basketball game. That sounds really nice. Happy Saturday. I have just been piddling around this morning. Well, not really. I've been doing laundry and a little bit of cleanup, just trying to get this house a little bit back in order. Although if you looked around, you would not tell that there is any sort of order. It's still a wreck, but that's, I am okay with that. I'm just trying to take it easy, not get stressed or overwhelmed. And one thing that I have been doing is trying to like refill all of my containers and everything, but I never made my kolaches. And so I have so much flour because I never made those because each batch takes eight cups of flour or something ridiculous like that. Maybe even more. Anyhow, it doesn't really matter how much it takes. The point is I'm fixing to start making them because um, I want to use up this flour. I want to make them. I have all the stuff to make the toppings and I don't want any of that to go bad. And so I just need to make them. Um, we're having our youth group lock in tomorrow. So I thought, you know what, I can take them up there, give some to my family, stuff like that. So what I already intended to do with them. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of baking here, be mainly because the flour has to rise, not the flour, but the, the dough has to rise for a while. Um, but yeah, we we got home so late from the basketball game last night. It didn't even end till like 11. I think it was like 11, 15 when we left the school. <clears throat> so it was late. And then um, we slept in a little bit this morning. So it's been a nice restful break other than going 
to all the ball games, but unfortunately they didn't win. They came back, they got so close, and then they just didn't win, but it's okay. <laughs> So like I said, I we have the lock-in tomorrow. So today I got up and ordered groceries for that. Oh, it's just so expensive to feed 20 plus teenagers. Goodness, it was like 150 something dollars and I haven't even ordered the pizza yet. So that's just for snacks and drinks and breakfast. And I'm still gonna have to spend probably close to $100 on pizza. So, oh well. <laughs> we'll have a really good time I'm sure of it and I need to go to Dollar Tree and get a bunch of candy for like prizes and stuff for the games that we're gonna play but I'm going minimal effort this year I am tired I am like borderline burnt out I hate saying that out loud um, but on church and youth stuff um, and I mean, frankly I've done this for so long it's like what else do I do sorry I need to rest my elbow um, so I'm just out of game ideas, I'm out of idea ideas, and yeah, so Scotty's like, you don't have to have a game for every minute of the night, like they, we can play a game and then they can just hang out, and then we can play a game and they can hang out, I'm like, sold, done, <laughs> that's what we're doing, so I'm trying to come to terms with, it's okay to not have every second of my life planned out and have everything <clears throat> just so, or whatever, so anyhow. I'm going to get started on these kolaches, um, so I feel like this is going to be the most boring vlog in history because I've done a whole lot of nothing, but I actually think you guys might appreciate it that I've done a whole lot of nothing because so many of you comment, I don't know how you get it all done, I don't know how you do it all. Well, I've done nothing, <laughs> so I hope you're proud of me, <laughs> um, but it sure makes for some blur boring vlogs. That, um, when you do a whole lot of nothing so okay I'm gonna get these started before it gets any later it's actually later in the day my phone's almost dead my watch is 120 so it is kind of later in the day but I do need to get these going so they can be rising and whatnot while I'm doing some other stuff Alright y'all, I am in town. I came to pick up my groceries, but also I need to run into Dollar Tree and get candy and stuff for prizes. I was just going to see if there's any little trinkety type of things. I don't know. Probably just going to stick with candy, but I might look around for a minute. But uh, I'm having a, my kolaches were having a hard time rising. I don't know. Y'all that bake bread all the time, what's going on? Last time my mom said maybe it was too humid, which today is a warmer day than it's been. And the last time I baked, it was definitely a warmer day than it had been. So I don't know what is going on with my bread, my dough. The yeast is brand new. I don't know. So anyway, I left it to rise even longer. And when I get home, I'll finish my kolaches off. I wanted to finish them before I came to town, but I got tired of jacking with it. Not, I wasn't doing anything with it, but it's been sitting for almost two hours and it had barely like risen so I don't know what's going on um and I know I didn't over need it or anything because it was only supposed to I was supposed to need it for seven minutes and it was already getting kind of elasticy and it was only like three and a half four minutes so 
I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, I'm going to run into Dollar General and then run over to Walmart. It's literally right there um, to get the groceries for tomorrow. All right. Leaving it in the warm oven was definitely the ticket. This one is deflating now that I've taken it out. But I need to punch them down and probably roll them out. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, dinner's done. I did a pasta bake, just something really quick and easy so that we could get on with our lives. It's already 7.17. Um, but guys, these are actually working. I have high hopes for them. I'm fixing to start making my toppings to put into them while they are rising one last time. Also, I uh, randomly picked my towels. My mom hand embroidered these for me last year and I love them so much, but um, or maybe two years ago. I'm not, I don't remember, but I just randomly picked bake day and it's so cute. And then also picked rest day, which is, it's been a nice several rest days, but they're just aprons and I love it. Mama, I love these so much. I haven't told you in a while, but, and they are holding up strong. Look how well they're doing. And I use them all the time too. I think I finally have done it. I shouldn't speak too soon. I've got three minutes left till these come out of the oven, the first batch, but um, they look perfect. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, here in three minutes, I'll pull those out of the oven and we will have the moment of, we will have the moment of truth. Did it work? Did I do it? Finally, after four-ish years, did I finally make kolaches? Okay guys, moment of truth. I can't hit stop, I'm so nervous. All right, let me get my pot holder on. 
Oh my gosh, they look so good, except they are not done. I only did 12 instead of 15 minutes, so I'm gonna do three more minutes. Guys. All right, y'all, we actually freaking did it. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe. <sighs> After all these years, okay, still have to taste them, obviously, but these look like the kolaches I grew up with from Texas. Czechoslovakian. Do I have it in my blood after all? Oh, let's hope so. I'm not exactly sure why this is so important to me, <laughs> but I just, I want to be able to make these because they are just part of my heritage. They're part of my childhood. Um, like this is what's going to make me cry today, but we got them every year when we went on vacation, and my dad liked them. So we literally just drove by. No one here. Um, oh, actually, maybe someone is here. I don't know. And my dad was really sweet. All the years I tried them, and they didn't work. So maybe he's helping me out this year. I don't know. But I think we got it. Okay. So we are going to try these. Scotty is, are you trying to stay out of the? Yes. Oh, okay. We haven't tried them yet, uh, mainly because we were finishing up dinner and um, we had a guest over for a few minutes. So which one do you want to try? This is um, blueberry cheesecake. That would be my favorite probably. Yeah. So I want to try one of these. Can you get one out for me? The cream cheese. This? Yeah. Yeah. Not cream cheese. Cottage cheese. Sorry. I don't even know if I was filming us. They're not exactly right. They're, they're too, I think I put too many on a pan, but they're closest, closer than they've ever been. So I think they're too soft in a, in a weirdly weird way. Okay. I don't know. It smells right. It's like very doy to ears. Maybe. I cut it out cause I wanted to make sure it was the middles were done. Okay. He's got blueberry cheesecake. Mm-hmm. It's still not fully right, but it's definitely the closest I've ever made it, huh? They're better. Mm-hmm. Because they're softer, but almost too soft now. <laughs> it needs to be slightly dense, but the bread is sweet, and the streusel topping worked out. Like, I don't know. I think it's good. But see how they're like mounded up more in the middle than the edges? I don't know. Maybe I should have made the dough smaller than the pan and allowed more room for it to kind of spread out. I don't know. It's all right though. I'm not you mad just about use it. Use like blueberry pie filling or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yay! Now I need some decaf coffee. Mm. Or milk. I'll drink a glass of milk. They'll be good with coffee in the morning, that's for sure. Yes. Okay, y'all, that is going to do it for this vlog. Um, I've already actually started editing and I'm already like 45 minutes of footage. I'm thinking I can cut it down a lot because I filmed a lot from the basketball games, but I was hoping to keep it around 30 minutes. So um, I can't film any more tonight. So thank you all so much for coming along with me this week. It was kind of weird getting back to almost like weekly vlog style after doing daily vlogs for the whole month. Um, but I only have one more daily vlog left to do and that's tomorrow. And I already mentioned it earlier in this video, but you won't see that till Monday afternoon probably because we have our lock-in at the church with the youth group, but I will vlog throughout that, which will get us through the entire month of December. It'll go up on January 1st. That is the last day of our break. It will also be the first day of my next weekly vlog for the upcoming year. We'll get back to weekly vlogs, back to weekly grocery hauls, and... There's going to be a lot more Disney content because we got that Disney trip coming up. So oh, I'm so excited about that. I've already had a request for a Disney Q&A video. So I'm excited to get that one started. I'll put out the all call for that. But you can go ahead and start leaving your comments and questions down in the um, comment box. If you have questions about Disney, I would love to add them to my list and make a full video out of that. But anyhow, I'm not going to ramble on any longer. Thanks for coming along with me today, this week. 
this whole vlogmas, obviously. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down in the comment box, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already so you don't miss any future content. Thank you. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.